Hey guys, long time no see. <laughs> well, not really, but I just got home from the gym and look what I got in the mail. BPI Sport. So I let's find out what's in here first. Let's see. Let's see what's in here. Open this bed, baby. Up. Opening it up right up. Should be opening it from here. Protein bars. Hmm. It's about what one, two, three, four of them. They're nice little samples. Uh 20 grams of protein, gluten-free. So this one is the s'mores. Then there's the cookies and cream. And then there's another s'mores and another cookies and cream. So I got two cookies and creams and two s'mores. So that's what I have in here. And I guess these are their new protein bars. Um, I haven't seen any protein bars from BPI before. So it was nice that they uh, wanted to have me try them out. So, yeah, this is what they have. This is what they have. Uh, don't mind the red light. It's just like it's trying to find a way to focus. But, yeah, I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've ever really seen any protein um, bars from BPI. So, this is the first. But the next thing that I'm probably going to end up trying out is their, well, I have tried out their, um, You're not being recorded. You can see me. The next thing I'm probably going to be trying out is their uh their pre-workout. I have tried their pre I have tried their pre-workout before. Their BP has for a pre-workout like pump or energy pump or something like that. But um let's see how those kind of work out. Alright, guys. So this is what my diet is gonna look like for the next five days. I'm actually doing this for uh, 14 days, so it's June 2nd, so I'll be doing it up to June 15th. So I'm gonna be meal prepping every five days. So like every, yeah, that's three times. So every five days, that's what I'm going to be doing. Yeah, 5, 10, 15, that works, right? <laughs> so what I have here is my dinner already prepped. What I have is uh, four ounces of chicken breast, half a cup of broccoli, and about six ounces, four to six ounces of sweet potato. So that's for Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or in this case, starting off Thursday, Friday, <laughs> Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday, and then I'll be meal prepping for the next five days. And what I'm going to be eating is oatmeal. Um, the only sweetener I'll probably use is the agave nectar. Um, not too bad on the calorie. I think it's about, well, that's a lot of calories, 60. But I'm only just going to use that. I could use raw honey, which is not bad. But I'm um, just going to have some oatmeal. And I will have oatmeal about three to four times a day. And I'm going to have a half cup of oatmeal about three to four times a day. And then I'm going to have some Humor Pro. I'm going to have one scoop. And this is, if you can see that, let's see if you can see that. It's vegan friendly and gluten free. So this is all protein, um, clean protein, and it has BCAAs and all that other stuff in it. And if you could read the label, hopefully this will start to focus. Positive nutrition, re repartitioning, and then starving the fat. What I'm really trying to do, I see that, notice that word right there, no bloating. Awesome, right? Um, less mass gain than whey protein, so greater lean mass gain than whey protein. So this is the protein that I'm going to be using. So how it's going to go is I'm going to be eating three to four times a day this half a cup of oatmeal, maybe some blueberries. This is the only sweetener I'll have, and I'll have a scoop of this 
with six to eight ounces of water and then my last meal will be uh, my chicken breast sweet potato and broccoli and if possible if I need it I'll probably have maybe like a little full of um, avocado or peanut butter as my fat just so it can hold me over until the next um, meal I'm going to try to eat about uh, two to three hours or three to four hours apart so that's what I'm going to do and this is just giving you a quick overview of what I'm going to be eating you see I already met, use, I use measuring and everything to do this so it's all measured out by grams and by what's suggested this is something that um, I learned from my brother so this is probably going to help me reset my uh, metabolism all right guys so I'm recording this while I'm driving so it might sound loud and it's gonna be short <laughs> Just giving you a quick update on the um, on the the diet that I just recently did, where I had the Hemopro and oatmeal for about three to four um, meals, and then my last meal was the chicken breast, broccoli, and sweet potato. I only did it for a week. The plan was to do it for 15 days, but honestly, for my body, that's too many carbs, even though it's low glycemic too much carbs uh, for 15 days uh, two weeks I can see but just for my body type and how I'm not necessarily um, carb sensitive I just know my body and what it will handle and what it's best to do I only did it for five days I only did it for a week so those five meals and those five days that I completed that and I gotta tell you guys it actually is awesome um, I felt a different type of hunger pain um, it felt like it was burning through my stored fat so <laughs> that's the type of hunger that I felt um, I felt like it reset my metabolism and the food that I'm eating now it just seems like it's going to my muscles instead of being stored as fat if that makes sense um, and I'm using energy it's just my metabolism is boosted up so um, I did lose about a pound or so I'm, I'm a slow uh, weight loser <laughs> after you know losing so many uh, pounds like almost 70 pounds in a short period of time and gained some of it back and then am losing it again so it really did reset my, metab my, my metabolism which leads me into carb cycling so what ended up happening is after that fifth day I went into about three days of one day of no carbs just vegetables that's it and then um, three other days of low carbs so I only had carbs the first two meals and like it was barely like half it was like a third a cup of oatmeal and probably like four ounces of sweet potatoes so that's what I did and then after that I went back to doing the uh, three well just having more carbs you know medium and then overloading on carbs for one day so that's how I ended up doing it instead of doing that same plan for 15 days if that makes sense um, I do have a plan that's already out on my website about carb cycling. I just followed that plan. I've done it before um, and I took the time to set it up and make it available to you guys so you can definitely check it out on my um, website. It's the plan, how much to have. Um, you can set up your schedule if you guys are interested in what's the best schedule for you just shoot me an email um, I'll probably ask you a few questions and then I'll just respond back of what's what the best schedule would be for I guess how you want to carb cycle but it's pretty plain and simple you you would know what to do when you look at it so based on your lifestyle but other than that I just wanted to give you guys some updates on how that ended up working out for me and let's get on to the BPI protein bars hey guys so I'm here at Vixen Fitness in Ypsilanti Michigan 
how we can see well maybe you can't see <laughs> in the back but um i have the last two one is the cookies and cream and one is the s'mores i'm about to actually eat one of these um bars right now before i go in uh what i had maybe about 30 minutes i don't want to say 30 minutes ago maybe about an hour ago i had half an avocado and maybe about 3.5 ounces of like steak strips um so yeah that's what i had but i'm feeling a little bit hungry and i don't think that it's smart to go and do anything if you're like extremely hungry but i'm not extremely hungry I just know that my body I'm listening to my body it says it's hungry so I'm just gonna eat one of these bars and probably have the other one upon leaving um, I'm starting to find that I'm not really that big on protein bars um, just because sometimes I feel like protein bars just kind of make me feel a bit uh, bloated that's just my my experience with a few of them I've even with the quest bars and I love quest bars but um, this is just about half of a bar. So I believe one bar hmm, is what, 80 calories? I think that's it. Um, I'm not sure if it's really 20 grams of protein in this one small bar. But I've had one of each previously and they taste awesome. So I do like protein bars. However, I'm just finding that I'm starting to pull away from them because I feel kind of bloated at times but can I say if if it doesn't bother you and you've eaten protein bars before and they don't bother you hey I think BPI is one of the good ones um, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead because I have them and they taste really good and they're not like a large protein bar so I feel a little less uh, worried <laughs> about being bloated in here so just wanted to share that with you guys uh, I have Huma Pro uh, protein that I use it, it just literally no calories just all the good protein macronutrients that I need so that's what my intermittent fasting looks like however I